Little known fact, Brian Sazi may be all business on the top, but on the bottom, he is wearing wide leg jeans. And he's not alone, apparently. Sad. Well, the, right now, I, full disclosure, wearing my uh, Lululemon joggers. But uh, yes, I used to be a big fan of wide leg jeans. And uh, maybe I should become more of a fan again of these jeans because that might be the look of this fall. Uh, that is according to Jeffrey's analyst, Stephanie Wisink, uh, calling out a very interesting trend here in Google searches. Google searches for low rise jeans have surged 91% over the past six months. And within that, some of the top styles that people are buying or they want are wide leg and flare jeans, really taking me uh, back to the late 1990s and, and early 2000s. Uh, so that trend, it seems to be coming back into style here, I would suppose, as people want more comfort. They're tired of buying uh, skinny jeans. They just want to be comfortable in their life after the pandemic, seeing as they have been pretty comfortable inside their homes uh, wearing loose-fitting joggers and, and other pants. Now, Wissing noting two stocks that are could be good plays on this are American Eagle are, are and Abercrombie & Fitch. Really, two retailers in the mall, uh, teen-focused, of course, or younger consumer-focused, uh, that have traditionally sold lots of jeans, been very strong, especially into the back-to-school shopping season. This is something to watch ahead of Abercrombie's results later in the week. I suspect the je jeans part of their business will have been very strong as people bought jeans in advance uh, of going back to school. But Wissing is noting, too, that this could start to spread because folks are buying new wide or, or flare leg jeans. You could see consumers buy new types of uh, tops, more form fitting tops. So crop tops are starting to come back uh, into into favor with consumers, but also sneakers. Uh, and I put that question to Foot Locker CEO uh, and chairman uh, Dick Johnson yesterday because they had a pretty big pickup in in boys and women's categories in terms of sneakers in the most recent quarter. Here's what he told us. We had a tremendous quarter, you know, a lot of strength, as you talked about in our women's and kids sneakers and our apparel. You know, I truly believe that part of it is this cozy at home feel that people want to feel good about uh, themselves and a new pair of sneakers, new piece of fleece, new T-shirt, new shorts makes uh, sort of the uniform feel complete. And, and certainly as we see our consumers heading back to school, as we see people going back to the office, they're going to go back in different uniforms than they left in. And certainly, I think uh, our consumer wants to have the freshest kicks on their feet and, and the hottest pieces of apparel, you know, covering their bodies. And Julie, I think you call it really the only thing we need to help fill out these looks are uh, baby backpacks and pacifiers. So maybe that's coming up next. Google search, look out. I mean, low rise plus wide leg equals raver in my brain, like that yes. whole <laughs> aesthetic, but uh, you know, just that, need some chunky, chunky black me. shoes, some glow sticks, and we're yeah. gonna get this party popping. Yes, I, I we'll, we'll, we'll have to ask Dick Johnson about the van sales as part of all of that as well. Oh man, wait, airwalks or airwalks coming back too? Yes, they're oh, the yeah. sure. <laughs> Johnson said he was wearing uh, UGG slippers, so at least for him, uh, it's an UGG slipper lifestyle for right now. Oh, that's yeah. right. I forgot about that. Oh, what you missed, Miles. He did tell us mm -hmm. that he was wearing UGG slippers, the CEO. I mean, uh, I, I got to say, the, the watching him say the freshest kicks was, I mean, I get it, you know. It's true. It's true for his customers, but I, I didn't. I don't feel that energy from, from, but you know, it's fine. He's an Ugg slipper guy. It's true.